we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone to Mass this morning. I welcome, as always, those of you who are here with me. We welcome anyone uh, joining us this morning from your homes or wherever uh, you find yourselves this morning. And to prepare ourselves now for the Mass, let's call to mind our sins once again, asking God for forgiveness, asking God for strength. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless, bless the, the Lord, Lord my, my soul. soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, oh, bless, bless the Lord, the Lord my, my soul. soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. Oh, oh bless, bless the Lord, the Lord my, soul. my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Oh, oh bless, bless the Lord, the Lord my soul. soul. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden light. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. I had a friend one time, his name was Joe. And Joe was diagnosed with cancer and he lived with it for a long time. He was an amazing person because up until the end, he regarded his cancer as a gift from God. I always thought it very strange when he said that to me. A few months before he died, he told me that the many things that he thought important in the past had now become so trivial. And God has become so real, he, he said. I've always felt close to God, he told me, but I feel even closer now. I feel that God loves me more than ever. I can feel God's power, he said. It's always there. I feel that God has answered my prayers. I feel loved. I never forgot his words. Joe was exceptional, but his deep love for God through all that he endured never wavered. He felt completely loved, com completely enveloped by God. Isn't that Jesus' promise? in today's gospel passage. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. These are such comforting words as we continue to struggle with the burdens of life. COVID's a reality that we all, we're all facing daily, but, all, uh, but others are also burdened by illness, by fear, by anxiety, by family issues, by financial issues. The list goes on. Isaiah, in today's first reading, is offering hope and encouragement to the exiles in Babylon. They that hope in the Lord, he tells them, will renew their strength. We're not alone. God is so close to us. And maybe let's just take a moment now in silence to bring my particular burden to the Lord, confident that God will address them. And for you the same, what burden do you have that you want to bring to the Lord this morning. Trust me, God says, I've got this. And with confidence in God's love and mercy, we now present our needs, the needs of our nation, the needs of our world to God in faith. <clears throat> For the church and all her ministers, that they may bring God's love to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all of the men and women who served and continue to serve this country, that God bless you, your families, and God bless America. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are dealing with COVID-19, the ill, the medical caregivers, those working to contain the spread and find a remedy, that through your grace, 
We find moments of consolation and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. From for Joe, Richard, Tom, and Judy Lawinger, whom we remember in a special way during this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer boxes, and our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you again for your many blessings. We bring our needs to you again this morning, some spoken aloud, and again, many private intentions coming to you from the silence of our hearts, and we ask you to grant what we bring in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, with contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins and failings. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the Scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in, sh in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world, turned by, that, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers, our sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of, in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the, re and the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, St. Michael the Archangel, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray as one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And let us gesture a sign of peace to each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Uh, we pray our act of spirit, spiritual communion for those who are praying with us from home. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love, to serve the Lord. And thank you for being with us this morning and wishing everyone a blessed day. Thank you.